Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to make sure that JPEG images open up directly into Photoshop. It's critical for our situation, so let's get started. If you just find your folder icon down at the bottom, the folder icon is going to open up your libraries. Libraries can point to multiple places on your computer, but in our case, we're going to be looking for one in particular, the pictures library. The pictures library has our pictures and you'll probably find the sample pictures folder inside here. It comes with Windows 7, so we'll go into that. Now, if I were to click on one of these, it actually is telling me how it's going to be opened right up here. It says it's going to be opened with a program called Preview. If I double click it, I see the picture in the Windows Photo Viewer. Now, I don't want it to go into Windows Photo Viewer when I open it up. We are designers and we want it to open up directly into Photoshop. To make it open up directly into Photoshop, we click this little arrow here. Now you may see something here, you may see Photoshop up here, but we're going to tell it to choose the default program. And this will make it to where anytime we click on a JPEG image on that computer, it will open up in Photoshop. Click choose default program. When this comes up, you might see some recommended programs. I'm going to tell it to browse. I'm going to click browse. And right now I'm in program files. And that's where I'm going to be able to find my 64-bit version of Photoshop. It's an Adobe product, so I click on the Adobe folder, scroll down to the CS 5.1 64-bit, and then find Photoshop.exe. I have to scroll down to get to that. Once I get it there and I highlight it, I click Open. And now it's checked. Use this every time. So it's going to open it every time. I'm going to click OK. And here we are in Photoshop, and there's the picture. So now anytime I click on another picture, I'm going to minimize Photoshop here, and I'm going to click on my penguins, and they open up. Now inside here, notice that they're opening up next to each other in tabs, so you can go between them, kind of like a browser window. So anyway, we know we're set up and we're ready to go. So if you ever notice that your computer is not opening in Photoshop, just remember to click that little arrow, choose the default program, and you can get started. And that's it for this video.